Uh, I'd like to talk about, uh, I talked about uh, Rapid Child uh, yesterday and I mentioned a little bit about uh, me uh, listening to the American Top 40 during 1960s. Uh, I encountered the uh, Nancy Wilson and uh, her uh, hit song was called um, uh, You Don't Know How Glad I Am. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know how glad I am. And that particular song uh, became very high in the top 40 chart. And uh, wow, you know, that is that something that, uh, you know, I never heard of that kind of a singing. It's a jazz singing, right? And uh, uh, so beautiful singing and uh, so different from the other pop music. And so I was hooked in that kind of a singing. And I found out Nancy Wilson um, is a very beautiful <laughs> singer at the time. You know, I was uh, uh, I was amazed that uh, you know that uh, uh, this is the uh, original. I think uh, How Glad I Am's albums uh, cover. But anyway, she's like a you know model for me, and uh, uh, but uh, her voice is unique and at that time when she became very popular um, I think uh, there's a debate uh, you know well is she a, the next great jazz singer you know after her feature and uh, most people say no 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 you know she's not there she you know, you know but you know they dismiss but uh, still she, you know she, her popularity remains and uh, she had a lot lots of CDs uh, over the years, I uh, I kind of uh, collected uh, her um, LP uh, uh, from like a you know when I was in Japan, I like a, I was uh, collecting the uh, old uh, um, American LPs, which is kind of a, as you know sold very cheaply in Japan uh, because of the uh, American records is always always cheaper than Japanese LP. So I was buying those and I was listening to that, and uh, but uh, uh, this first album, you know, that uh, how glad I am. That's one song I like. And let's go where the grass is greener. Oh, the grass is greener. You know, that's another song I really liked, and I, I like that. But uh, uh, after a while, I, I found <laughs> this album is called. Uh, Today by way, and I have been looking for because LPs are all gone, you know, from my possession, and uh, I was looking for uh, reissued CD, old CDs, and uh, I couldn't find it. And that this particular LP um, is being sold like a, you know, hundred dollars or two hundred dollars, you know, old 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 LP, and uh, so CD. I have been looking, and finally this one came out. This is a double album, and Nancy Naturally, together with Today My Way. And in this Today My Way, and uh, reach out for me. this Bob Buckrock song, you know, that I, um, I really loved, and uh, my amor, forgive me, amor, excuse me, that's a, uh, um, Amore Scusami, an Italian song, and my love, forgive me. And uh, don't come running back to me, don't come running back to me. And uh, um, yeah, I think that's probably it. And uh, yeah, but uh, this Richard for me is, uh, you know, of course, this is about back like how David uh, collaboration song and. Uh, I uh, uh, listened to listen to her uh, voice first, Richard for me, and I really loved it. But I never realized that uh, Dion Warwick, of course, Dion um, Warwick uh, sang that song too. But I love her version much, much better. So I'm glad I got this particular CD, and uh, ever since then I uh, try to get the old 1960s. CD as much as possible, you know, and um, and the, uh, the uh, one other CD that I really love 
during that time, a little bit, you know, I started to collect the LP, um, uh, the LP is Broadway My Way. In this album, uh, she sang the, a lot of love and uh, living to do. Um, you can have him uh, tonight and make someone happy. Oh, the Broadway song. But it's a beautiful singing and it's her distinct style of singing, right? And uh, it's not, it's an, it's, you cannot compare with, uh, for example, Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald is very straightforward, very, very uh, orthodox way of singing. Her is a little bit jazzy and a little bit her own creations of uh, singing is in it. But I loved it, you know, her voice is very, very good. And uh, so, uh, I remember when I was in Japan, uh, she was very popular, right, in the 1960s. And of course I meet friends who, who love jazz and everything, and uh, uh, she told me, oh, you know, that the, her uh, LP is very, very good. And so I went to the concert when she came to, to Japan, to Tokyo, to, to the concert. So she went there, and uh, she was complaining because her voice was not big. It's very tiny, and uh, uh, her way of singing, the microphone is very, very close to, to um, the, the, her mouth. So, uh, you know, like a whispering type of voice there. And I don't know the particular concert, is, uh, the, uh, especially she was singing like that or not. But uh, I understand that. I think she, uh, her voice is beautiful and beautiful thing, but uh, I don't think she has a big, you know, voice, uh, I would say. But uh, it's, it's a, I, loved, uh, I loved her, and uh, I think even today, I think she was issuing uh, the CDs. Uh, um, you know, but my um, love is about 1960s of her singing, you know, and so uh, I love that. And uh, over the years, I collected so many CDs by her, but still look for, <laughs> look for something, something uh, new but old recording, not the new recording, old recording, and uh, I really, you know, feel uh, comforted from that, uh, you know, one thing is that I talk about old recording, is that uh, uh, when you get older, I think you are kind of a, a you know, very stubborn you know, personality or whatever, and you don't accept a new recording of somebody else, somebody new, and it's always go back to this era where you are, you know, tremendously, uh, for the first time you're enjoying some, some kind of culture, some kind of a singing, the way of singing, you enjoyed it and you remember this particular uh, time and you remember uh, how happy I was uh, listening to that and <laughs> So, if I listen to those today, you know, of course, it made me very happy. And especially, um, uh, I, I think, you know, I grew up in a, you know, I, I told you many, many times, I grew up in a, like a Beatles and the rock and rolls and everything, but uh, very, very quickly I uh, graduated from that particular sing, type of singing to the more jazz, you know, more, you know, adult-like, more sophisticated. Uh, way of singing, right? Okay. <laughs> so um, uh, I think about that, and I, uh, wow, you know, I, I came to to US and uh, tried to look for the similar um, type of people, and I don't see them. I don't, you know, I don't. I I uh, not so many people like my age group, but not so many people liked probably jazz uh, that much and not so many people are crazy about top 40s or anything like that. But if they do, they still remain like a Beatles and uh, <laughs> so forth. But that that's okay, you know, but, uh, uh, you know, but uh, uh, listening to that old uh, Nancy Wilson series, uh, it brings back all the memories of uh, when I was younger. And uh, although, you know, when you're young, uh, life is not perfect, right? But you have a tremendous, this 
dream, tremendous hope in your mind. And uh, that particular, I don't know what that tremendous hope, tremendous, uh, uh, you know, the dream uh, was. Uh, you know, yeah, of course I know, but uh, <laughs> I don't care about that. I care about how happy I was when I was listening to this music. And uh, then that particular feeling comes back and uh, makes me happy. So when I'm sad or when I am tired, uh, you know, when I'm lonely, <laughs> I listen to those and they make, bring back all the memories and uh, so forth. And so, um, you know, guys, I think uh, it's very important to, to enjoy music. I think it is. I know even young people today, I think they, are, they have a tremendous different genre, you know. Uh, they are enjoying the, today's music, but I think that's very important. For you, that's the best music when you're growing up. And uh, you have to cherish those experiences, and you will uh, continuously enjoy that particular experience when you get older. So, um, the music is wonderful. Especially this year, music has been like a savior, you know, so. Okay, bye.